study the blind Mexican crayfish. You can see them um, along the tanks here. Um, as the name suggests, they come from Mexico, and there are 29 different caves that we know about. And we also compare them to these surface fish that live in the rivers surrounding the caves. They have these nice large eyes and look like a typical minnow. Um, what's interesting about the cave fish, they've completely lost their eyes and their pigmentation, but they also have a lot of cranial malformations that we've been really interested in. So we found that they have a lot of asymmetry in their skull. Some of their bones are fused together prematurely. Some of them have actually fragmented into separate individual pieces of bone. We, we use hybridization to kind of capture what, um, how genetic diversity looks between two different um, species that are very similar. And you can see that most of these fish all look very similar. They kind of look like surface fish, maybe a little more pale, a little smaller eyes. Um, and then we also use a thing called F2 hybridization, where we take two of these siblings and breed them together. Um, and we get this F2 population. Um, and all of these are siblings, but you can really capture the genetic diversity in this F2 population, um, where you see some fish that look exactly like a cave fish, some fish that look exactly like a surface fish, and then you'll have a lot of, a lot of intermittent um, phenotypes where some can be completely albino but have eyes, and then some can have no eyes but then be completely pigmented. So you get the full range of phenotypic diversity.